Good morning, I'm Justin Harper from IG Markets with the Singapore Morning Update on Thursday, March the 15th. The STI has opened pretty flatly this morning. It had a stellar day yesterday, uh, moving above 3,000 points. The Simsky is also trading pretty flatly. Uh, Wall Street was a pretty muted affair yesterday, so it was on the cards that today wouldn't be as spectacular as yesterday. Looking at the uh, currency markets, the euro has continued its slide against the US dollar. A lot of traders are heading towards the greenback uh, on the risk sentiment coming off the table a little bit there. There's higher risk there and the US seems to be a good bet at the moment. Also the US economy is the one white knight within the global economy It's doing well. QE3 looks likely that it's not going to happen anytime soon so the market won't be flooded with cheap dollars and devaluing the currency there. So at the moment the US dollar seems to be the place to be. Uh, the Aussie dollar is also slipping against the US dollar. This is pretty much off the back of China's comments, uh, negative comments coming from its premier saying that the uh, property market seems to be uh, still overvalued, priced too high and the measures that have been put in place to stop speculative buying are going to be held for the time being. When we look ahead at the commodity markets and gold, we see that gold also has slipped a little bit there. This is also off the back of the negative comments made about uh, the China property market there. It, all was, it was under pressure a little bit this week anyway from QE3 coming off the table and now it's dropped a little bit and actually fell 2% and gold futures are looking at uh, 1640.9 a troy ounce at the moment. In Singapore today at lunchtime we have the um, retail sales figures coming out which will be a good indicator of how resilient the local stock market is and how well the economy is doing and that will give us a better idea for the year ahead as to uh, what to look forward to with retail sales and the rest of the economy.